Hi, I'm Sonia and welcome back to my channel, Life Over 60. In today's video, I want to talk about skincare regimes. Primarily today, I want to talk about my AM skin routine and then in a subsequent video, I'll talk about my PM skin routine. But before I get into all of that, let's talk about skincare routines in general. And I guess the first question is, do we actually need to have a skincare routine? Why is it so important that we have one? Our skin serves as a protective barrier against external factors such as pollutants, bacteria, UV rays, and harsh weather. And as such, having a skincare regime is going to keep our skin healthy and it's going to keep it radiant looking and it's going to protect our skin from environmental factors, from UV rays, etc. There are a number of steps that we can take when we have, when we, you know, in, introduce a skincare routine into our, you know, morning routine and our evening routine. And that would be, the first step would be cleansing our skin. Now, cleansing our skin is going to remove dirt. It's going to remove excess oil, makeup, any impurities that really can accumulate onto our skin during uh, the day. Cleansing our skin as well will, will prevent clogged pores and will help reduce the risk of developing acne and any other skin issues. The next step would be to apply a toner. Now, a toner helps to balance the, um, the pH level of our skin. Toners also hydrate our skin and prepare the skin for better product absorption of the next products that we're going to be adding to our skin. Then we have essences. Now, essences are still very lightweight, but they're just more concentrated than a toner. And they contain a higher amount of active ingredients compared to toners. Essentially, an essence is going to deliver specific skincare benefits like hydration, brightening, anti-aging, soothing. And the goal of an essence is to provide a boost of nutrients and hydration to the skin and also, again, to prepare it for subsequent treatments. Now, do you need to use both a toner and an essence? I don't think you actually have to. I think it's, I think you use what you feel your skin needs. Personally, I interchange. I'll use a toner one day and then the next day I'll use an essence. Just because the products contain different ingredients and I like all of the ingredients that they both offer, but I just don't see that I need to put them on at the same time. Then we have what we call like a treatment product. And these are serums that are going to uh, target specific skin concerns that we might have. They're going to provide more intensive and focused solutions to any concern we may have. And typically, these serums are going to contain higher amounts of active ingredients as well that work to address a particular issue and that are going to promote healthier skin. So some, some of the skin concerns that we can target with the treatment product um, are acne, for example. So products that contain al az azelaic acid, uh, salicylic acid, alpha hydroxy acids, or benzoyl peroxide, all of these, you don't need all of these products in, and use all of these products, like using one of, one of these types of um, ingredients, are going to help unclog pores, they're going to help reduce inflammation and kill acne-causing bacteria. Then we have, you know, our anti-aging serums, such as antioxidant, which we, which I, I typically apply as a vitamin C. We have retinoids that can be, uh, you know, tretinoin, retinol. We have peptides, which, um, you know, can help firm up our skin, make it more elastic. And all of these products are going to help um, promote um, collagen pr uh, production, uh, cells, um, you know, the skin turnover, improve the elasticity and the firmness of our skin, all of which we hope leads to a more youthful looking appearance. <laughs> then, you know, a concern uh, some folks might have is hyperpigmentation. 
And again, products that have like vitamin C, if they have kojic acid, licorice extract, niacinamide, azelaic acid, all of these can help to fade, you know, dark spots and to even out the, the skin tone. Then we'll have products that are, are for, to exfoliate our skin. And these are products that contain like chemical exfoliants like your AHAs, which is your alpha hydroxy acid, um, you know, such as like glycolic acid, lactic acid, um, beta. And then we have like our beta hydroxy acids, which is your salicylic acid. And what, when you were exfoliating, what this does, it helps to remove dead skin cells and to unclog pores and to improve, you know, skin texture and tone. Then also we have products that are for soothing and calming. So for example, if you have rosacea, which is, you know, redness in your skin, and you might have some little bumps associated with that. So some of the, some of the ingredients f that can help with this are aloe vera, chamomile, green tea extract, centella asiatica, um, and uh, azelaic acid. You can see as I've been talking, Quite often, there's a number of different ingredients that can address many problems, like azelaic acid, for example, can is good for a host of various issues that we might have with our skin. Then we have eye creams, and now the eye creams are purported to provide specialized care for, you know, our skin is more delicate under the eye, so it's going to um, help perhaps with hydration, puffiness, dark circles. Now, when it comes to eye treatments, I find that quite often just a good moisturizer is just as good as a, an eye treatment. Um, eye treatments tend to be fairly pricey, yet the ingredients don't necessarily seem to be any different than what might be in your moisturizer. That said though, I do know that for example, if you have like some puffiness under your eye, a product that might have caffeine in it will help. It will help to reduce the puffiness in your eyes. The next step then is to moisturize. And essentially when you apply your moisturizer, that is going to seal in all of the products. And what it does is it then creates this protective barrier that helps prevent moisture loss. And it also is going to kind of keep then the outside elements at bay. So you're just kind of protecting your whole face. Then two, you can apply an oil. Now, if you have very oily skin, you may not wish to do this, but if your skin is very dry, then you may wish to add an oil. And again, the oil is just going to uh, provide that extra layer of hydration and um, strengthen again our skin barrier. Last, but certainly not least, is your sunscreen. It's very important to then apply sunscreen and to apply an adequate amount. Now I did um, a video on sunscreen and I'll link that below in the description, but it's important, like I say, to put on an adequate amount, which is a quarter teaspoon, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is actually a fair amount of sunscreen. And that, but it is key because that keeps out those UV rays, those rays that are particularly damaging that cause, you know, um, cause your skin to burn. It can cause um, uh, just other damage to your skin as well as it, it ages your skin. And we're trying not to look having not to look as though we have aged skin. We want to keep our skin looking youthful. Sunscreen is really key to that. I know this probably sounds like it's a lot, but it really isn't. Let me show you now the products that I'm using. So I will um, either use this toner from Numbizen or this uh, essence from First Essence. Now the Numbuzen, um toner, it has 50 types of fermented ingredients. I'm a fan of fermented ingredients because what I've, based on the research that I've um, had is what happens is when, a, when um, an, an ingredient is fermented, it's kind of broken down into a smaller molecule and that's going to help be absorbed better into your skin. So there's like 50 types of them in, in this 
one. And what this product also does is going to help with um, brightening and firming kind of dull, tired skin. And the first essence, this one has 94.5% um, uh, Galactomyces, or otherwise known as P Ptera. And this helps um, your skin from, from damage. And I've done a whole video on Galactomyces, and uh, I'll link that below. Essentially with this product, it's been shown that it's gonna help with those fine lines and wrinkles um, and really make your skin, like I say, um, look healthy. The next thing that I always apply in my skincare is what I call the trifecta for vitamin C because I read this uh, study that talked about combining different skincare ingredients to make them better when they're used in combination rather than on their own. And this is using glycolic acid, vitamin, vitamin C, this is a timeless vitamin C, as well as Centella Asiatica. Now, I also did a video on this, which I'll link below. And what this study showed was that if you use these three in combination, that collagen was produced four times more effectively than using just one of these products on its own, or than just using the vitamin C on its own. Now, a little thing about vitamin C. It's really important when you're choosing your vitamin C that you get a product that has L, L, ascorbic acid. That is really the gold standard for vitamin C. That said, I also use another product. I have two of them here. This one is from Jolie, and this is from The Ordinary. And they contain a vitamin C called, I'm gonna try to read this, tetrahexyldecal ascorbate. And it, this is an oil-based vitamin C, and which apparently will penetrate deeper into the skin layer than the water-based um, vitamin C. Now, there's not a lot of research yet done on this, but I'm I'm kind of rotating between the two. I'm trying to see like, th does this make a difference, this particular ingredient versus the other vitamin C. I, I always use vitamin C. I always want that antioxidant um, collagen producing skincare ingredient on, uh, as part of my daily routine. Next though, I will rotate between a couple of things. I have here, it's called Numbuzin Serum, number three, and this has bifida ferment lysate, it has galactomyces, it has niacinamide, it has squalene, it has hyaluronic acid. All of these ingredients are going to help brighten the skin, um, you know, um, it's going to hydrate the skin, it just nourishes the skin, it's going to help with those fine lines and wrinkles. So I will rotate, I will use either this one that does all of that, or I will use this one from the, the Ordinary called the Buffet. Now this has, it's full of peptides. It's chock full of peptides and lots of other amazing ingredients. And so with this one is really gonna help with firmness, elasticity for your skin. Um, again, it's going to hydrate, it's, you know, it's just going to do all those good things for your skin. So I rotate between the two of these because they, they both, while not doing the exact same thing, they do a lot of the similar things. And then I'll rotate with those. And then I will also, you know, maybe one day I'll do the buffet and then the next it'll be this. And then I will also... I have a bit of rosacea and hyperpigmentation. So I have one product with a, that's azelaic acid. And then I also have what's called Happy Face, which has a lot of um, in, great ingredients in here for rosacea. While that might look like a lot, I'm not using that every single day. I'm rotating through things. And again, and, you know, I can, and again, what's important, one of the things that's important too is you're starting off with something that's lighter weight. Like, let me show you um, the toner. Uh, see if I can even show, like it's, 
uh, probably can't even show it. It's, it's just like, it's watery. It's just like watery consistency. Uh, so that just absorbs into your skin. And one thing I do too, so when I'm putting on, every time I put something on my face, I'm gonna have the residual, there can be some residual on my hands. What I do is I put it up on my, my arms where I have my crepey skin. And I did a video on crepey skin. I'll also link that below because I really think too that putting all this stuff on my face, why don't I put it on the parts of my body where skin needs some work? And I also put it on the backs of my hands. So I am always taking that excess and putting it somewhere else so as not to waste it, right? So the thing too is you want to be going from the lightest weight to the heaviest weight. Vitamin C is very lightweight. Um, now, you know, you get into the serum, you get into like the nimbusum, the serum, and you can see that it's, you know, it's going to be a little bit thicker. Um, you just, you, you just go from thinnest to thickest. Now comes moisturizer. And, and again, okay, so right here, I've got like four different moisturizers. I have a, a lot because I like testing different products. I like testing different ingredients and seeing what I like. Um, and these are all a little bit different. This product, it's from a company called Biofresh and it's um, Hyaluron Ultra Hydrating Day Cream. So this product has hyaluronic acid in it, but it also has another ingredient that I had never heard was in skincare before, and that's creatine. Now I take creatine powder as a supplement every day um, because, you know, I've heard the studies have shown what a wonderful supplement this is for your muscles and to help you, um, you know, be stronger and to perhaps need less recovery between sessions. So I take creatine but I had never heard of it as a skincare ingredient. And apparently um, it's an, axi um, an antioxidant and it holds moisture and stimulates collagen. And I thought, oh, kind of cool. Let me try that. So this one has it as well as the Q10 Nivea. Q10 also has creatine and it also has the coenzyme Q10, which again is something that's really great for firming, for building collagen. So I really just wanted to try both of those. I also have the e.l.f. It's the um, Holy Hydration, and this has a host of great skincare ingredients. It's got squalene, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got niacinamide. It's got really great moisturizing properties as well as great skincare ingredients. And then this last one is from a company called Jolie that I found in the States. And this particular um, cream, I bought it mainly for crepey skin because it has ingredients such as ribose, um, apple extract, watermelon extract, and lentil extract. All of these ingredients are hydrating the skin and providing firmness and elasticity to, to the skin. And this says it can be used on your face and your body. So I'm kind of rotating amongst all of these and trying to see which ones I, I like. Um, and I'm, you know, using this one as well for my, you know, helping the crepey skin on my arms and my legs. Then, last but not least, as I mentioned, I use sunscreen. And I have a couple that I'm using. I have one from La Roche-Posay. Uh, I have, oh, this one, the name's wearing off, but it's a Centella Asiatica is one of the main ingredients. And then I have one that's from the company called Frutia. Now these two are Korean sunscreens. They're, and their rating system is PA, it's a PA plus system. And this has PA++++, which is the highest amount of protection that you can get for your uh, UV, for the UVA rays. And this one from La Roche-Posay is also, um, you know, it's a uh, protectant for UV, UVA, UVB rays. Very important to use these. And I find this one, the Centella, this one has some of like that zinc oxide, zinc, Ioxide in it. Um, 
so when I put it on it does leave a bit of a white cast but it dissipates fairly quickly this one is um, you know a, a chemical sunscreen so it doesn't have that and this one as well is chemical I find they all work well under my makeup um, they uh, they perform well and um, it's just important to be using a good sunscreen on your face and enough of it I mentioned it doesn't have to be complicated to get a good skincare routine going. You can get away with really having, you know, three or four products and it does not have to be expensive. That's the other thing. You know, you've noticed that a lot of the products I use are from The Ordinary. The Ordinary has fantastic products, um, great ingredients and the price points. Most, most things I'm buying from The Ordinary are under $10. You just don't need to spend a lot. There you have my morning routine. As I said, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive, but I do believe that we should all have a skincare routine of some sort. And the other thing just to mention is that it is important to buy products for your skin type. You need, if you have very sensitive skin, you need to make sure that the product that you're buying is okay for sensitive skin. Now, I'm fortunate, I just have normal skin. I can basically apply any kind of product and I don't have an issue. If you have acne prone skin, again too, make sure that what you're buying is good for acne prone skin. Um, but there you have it. This is my morning skincare routine. I'll be doing a part two that shows you my evening skincare routine and demonstrate some of the products that I have. If you have any products that you use that I haven't mentioned or any other types of products, I'd love to hear from you. Just put it down in the comments. And if you wanna be notified when I post my next videos, just hit that subscribe button and that notify button. Take care now and I'll see you in the next video.